they can do a search on that. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now, actually, and you could you could even hear it in the background um, as they were showing the jet. It, it appears to be a legit um, news piece, uh, and they're showing a, 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 a looks like a Romanian news reporter on a mainstream Romanian newscast. Uh, with the uh, with images of this jet that uh, was hit and that they they're already showing a little bit about uh, the video. They show the video. Um, what's true or not, I don't know, but it's it's pretty cool looking. So uh, UFO hits Romanian fighter jet at YouTube. You can find out more there. Hunter is in Arizona on Coast to Coast AM for Paul Stonehill. Hunter. Hunter. Okay, Hunter, there he is. Uh, well, then now he's gone. Uh, Dan is in Columbia, South Carolina for Paul Stonehill. Dan? Hi, can you guys hear me okay? Mm-hmm. Sure can. Okay, great. Um, I wanted to get Paul's take on uh, the crystal skulls and crystals being like ancient types of computer chips. Do you believe in that the, the computer chip theory, Paul? Um, no, I don't. But again... Uh, crystal itself may be um, material that we don't know all the uh, all its properties. Again, I go back to ancient China and that uh, magic so-called mirror they had and used for uh, to, you know to determine uh, person's disease. It was like um, I guess a giant magnifying glass. I don't know what else to call it. Right. No, I totally get that. Willie is in Miami on Coast to Coast AM for Paul Stonehill. Willie. Good evening, guys. Evening. I'd like to start off by saying uh, Gina rocks. You should have her own show one night, Ian. I totally agree. She should have oh. this show. If there's any justice, Gina would be hosting, and I'd be answering her phones. <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to say that. I'm willing to come out and make that. <laughs> Incidentally, Ian, I sent you um, an email with an EVP a few weeks ago. I don't know if you got a chance to hear it. It's something we recorded years ago, and it's it's the real thing. Check it out if you get a chance. Well, point, I'd like to – wait, wait. I want to make a – I want to jump in here and say my Coast to Coast AM dot com account has gotten all screwed up. So I'm really not getting – especially anything with an attachment, um, anything to that web-based server has just gotten all balled up. So I'm looking forward to sorting that out. So I can guarantee you I haven't gotten it, but I have tried. I've gone in several times uh, to that email box, and it's just – I don't know what the problem is, but I'm having a real hard time with it. But go ahead. Your question for Paul. Uh, one day, maybe I'll send it to you again when you get it all sorted out. Thank um, you. My question is, um, and I don't know if uh, it's good, a good question or not, but, um, Paul, you said a little while ago the Soviet Union had found something you believe when they were doing excavations or whatever it was mm-hmm. they were doing, and you think they found something of extraterrestrial origins. Now, with the climate in Russia being different now, what is it, the, Feder- the Russian Federation now, is it? Yes. What are, what are the chances you think of um, of that technology maybe falling into the hands of like some sort of organized crime syndicate, something like that, black market? Uh. I think um, during uh, Putin's rule, he put the, down, he destroyed criminals, um, uh, criminal clans. I, they, I mean, there, there is a lot of crime in Russia as such, but the control of, of Russia now is in the hands of uh, Dmitry Medvedev and his people, and the law enforcement agencies, or Silaviki, you can call them, let's say, uh, those with force, they, I, I don't think they will let Russia lose control anymore. It's pretty well guarded. It's like a putocracy, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's, it's Putin in charge of everything. Um, well, yeah, but he has a lot of support, too, because he did bring the wealth of the nation up, mainly because of oil and gas. And right. he brought law and order where none existed for like, you know, about, I would say, 10 years. Yeah, but in, uh, along that way, though, too, he, he also, and I, we talked a, a little bit about this a couple of weeks ago with the author of a book called Mick Mafia uh, about the, the, the powerful Russian gangs. He made a lot of people rich. He made a lot of oligarchs rich. Uh, but I don't know that, uh, that, that a lot of them seem to be very focused on continuing an organized crime, uh, and that, uh, the, there is, there is, it may be stability, but it's stability with a violent streak in it. Um, people on the street are, uh, you know, nowadays they're not as concerned about going out. Why he has a lot of support. 
again, he brought, and, and believe me, Moscow is not a typical Russian town. There's a lot of poverty, a lot of grief, and so forth. But he gave people stability, and that's what people, uh, that's what a lot of people expected. I know, I, I don't defend the, him or uh, Medvedev at all, but I'm, I'm just telling you the uh, popular mood in Russia nowadays. Sure. I understand. First time caller line, Bill is in Fairbanks, Alaska on Coast to Coast AM for Paul Stonehill. Bill? Hi, uh, thank you for picking me up. Um, I had a question about, I was watching television on the History Channel, and uh, they had run this show about uh, finding alien technology on the moon, where they had found a uh, robot skull, and the government just kind of washed it out like it never happened. And you want to ask Paul about that? Paul? Well, I just wanted to ask anybody about that. Uh, that's fi fine. Go ahead, Paul. What do you know about that? Again, <clears throat> all I know is what was reported by a Chinese scientist, that a footprint was found on the moon. He was, he's one of the leading ast astrophysicists in China, as far as I know, Dr. Kang Mao Kang. According to Russian sources, he, this scientist, scientist had received information from a reliable source in the United States along with the photographs of a human footprint and the hu photograph of a human skeleton on the surface of the moon. Apparently, in 1988, in the winter of 1988, Mao Kang showed the photographs to a conference of, ju conference of journalists in Beijing. That's all I know. But he did claim that he possessed documents and letters to prove the footprint on the lunar surface was quite recent. We're talking about 1988, so, you know, sometime about that period. And the skeleton was unquestionably human. And he mentioned that only the Americans can provide the information. And left it there. Allegedly, the photographs were taken by crew of Apollo 11. Apollo 11. That's Apollo all. 11. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and Kay is in California on Coast to Coast AM for Paul Stonehill. Kay? Hey, how's it going? Good, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I got a question. Uh, since uh, you, you kind of really took a really hard uh, stance against Silver there, um, I got a question about the, uh, something called uh, the uh, singing skulls, or not? I'm sorry, the singing stones in Russia. What do you? What's your opinion on that? And what would uh, what would happen if they got close to the, the crystal skull? Uh, the, the singing. Tell me about the singing stones, Paul. Well, there may be. <clears throat> There may be a natural formations that, uh, you know, emit sounds because of the movement of the wind and so forth. Russia has <clears throat> tens of thousands of paranormal objects. And, uh, no, seriously, a lot of paranormal objects. I don't think the singing stones are something that can be really paranormal or attributed. Uh, again, there were stories of singing statues in the past as well from ancient Rome and so forth, they were not proven to be anything genuine. But again, nature creates a lot of effects that may seem to be unusual, but once you start <clears throat> exploring them, you get the answer. Now, about the crystal skulls, all I can say is this. There has been a lot of interest from different groups into the secrecy, uh, into the composition of the stones, uh, of the crystals, uh, sorry, skulls, Apparently, there's an organization that, uh, you know, keeps the um, information about the skulls in their hands. Uh, I believe organized by the owners of different skulls. They may know more than anybody else at this point. Okay. Bruce on the wildcard line in Vancouver on Coast to Coast AM for Paul Stonehill. Good evening. Thanks for taking my call. I just have a quick question for Paul, and then I'll get off and listen for his opinion. Um, the Anunnaku, planet Nibiru, and the coming 2012, uh, does he have any opinions on that? I think that Zachariah Sitchin has done a tremendous research. I think that he definitely has something. I, I, I believe in a lot of his findings. For Moreover, I found confirmation of, let's say, ancient uh, Sumerian legends and their goddesses in the uh, <clears throat> stories of the so-called golden woman of Yugra, a very unusual artifact, a goddess that was possessed by a 
very faraway tribe. We 